Hi, this is Tom with Promedia Gear and today we are going to talk about our new Bluetooth motion control. Alright, so the item number VSM3 um, includes um, the entire package, okay? We include the carriage with the stepper motor. Here's the carriage. All right, we got the motor attached. And it's a belt driven motor to the wheel here. And then we have a standard network cable. Okay, it's a six foot cable. Uh, then we have, of course, the Bluetooth controller. And we have a power cable. And we have a little pouch where we can house all this stuff in there. And then we just, uh, from which we will just have a cable sticking out and we can put it next to a slider, hang it off or on the floor or whatever. Okay. So let's overview these parts. So this is a carriage. It's basically half of it is our standard three wheel carriage and the back part's different. We have a five to one gear ratio here. Okay. So the belt drives this wheel. Okay. And this is a stepper motor with a standard ethernet connection okay so what we use and i'll show you how to hook this up so we use a standard ethernet cable uh, which cable you get might vary uh, this is what we're offering currently okay it's just a standard network cable if you have a cover like this on the cable take that off you might have to press this down to release take off the cover okay all right, so take the cover off of both. We simply connect it here. Once again, it's a standard ethernet cable. Plugs in, to take it out, press it down, take it out. Okay. And leave that in. Now we usually plug it into the port one on a controller. Let's overview the controller. We have two ports, meaning this is a two axis connector. Um, right now we're only gonna drive the linear motion. So that means we're connected to number one for linear motion, okay? On the other side, we have a data connection here. That's USB, micro USB. Uh, don't use that for power. This is only to update the firmware. The second jack, two and a half millimeter jack, this is for camera trigger. So if you're shooting with the time-lapse, and you want to sync up the motion um, of the carriage of the camera with uh, with the camera then use this cable keep it in mind you have to use extended cable so as it travels with the camera uh, cable has to be long enough for that okay now a third port here is for power we do recommend 12 volts okay and this is where this cable comes in now, again, this cable could vary what you get. This is a nice short one. Uh, we could also supply a longer one, okay? Um, if you do get an aftermarket cable, this is just a USB to a 12 volt connection. Get cables that, are, uh, that have this voltage regulator in the middle. Uh, they tend to be of higher quality, okay? This would just plug into here, the power port, okay? Now there's two ways to power this and these uh, are not supplied, okay? So we can use a power brick, regular brick to charge the phone. Everyone should have one of these. Uh, we recommend bigger ones, not the tiny little ones. So this one may not work. Don't use it. If it works, it's fine. If it doesn't, try to use a bigger one, okay? So you can power it with this, just plugging this into a wall. That's your power. So this is not included. Now, a second way to power this would be with the battery uh, bank. Standard cell phone battery bank. Um, I would recommend getting ones with um, somewhat good specs, a bit like an IQ charge um, regulator, um, because some cheap ones may not put out enough current. So if you're having trouble with this, this could be an issue. Um, why we don't ship it with these is because they're shipping restrictions for lithium ion batteries uh, especially when you ship via air uh, so we just decided that everyone probably already has one if not then everyone should have at least this 
uh, you can always contact us for assistance getting this, okay? So this should just plug into here, okay? We power it up, probably heard a little noise, okay? So right now we're powered up, okay? To disconnect, you would just unplug this cable. So let me show you how we hook everything up, okay? Once again, we got a motor, cable for, for the motor, which is a standard CAT5 or 6 network cable. Motor controller, power, cable, and a power source, which in this case could be a battery bank or basically a cube, okay? All right, so to power everything up, first we want to make all connections before we connect power. So here we hook up the motor and then we hook up the motor controller to port number one. And then what we want to hook up, it doesn't really matter at this point. Plug in the power port, that's the USB to 12 volt cable. And then we connect this to a battery bank. Okay, so what happens here? This will initiate a test sequence on the motor to see what's connected. So if I disconnect it, okay, let me reconnect it once again. You'll see this flash, and the one that's active will be will light up on the green right here. Okay, so that's connected. All right, you will not see any indication here that it's connected. Now this is at this point we can go to the app, okay? So you can search for Pine Motion. The app is by Black Black Forest Motion Company, okay? All right, so here you see this. We can open this up obviously. So this is the welcome screen. Now as soon as you start this, it will start connecting to the controller. Okay? I figure I'll show you how to connect the carriage to the motor, okay? So typically we want to put the motor on the inside of the track, if it's a curved track you're mounting it to. Notice this the curve right here. So the motor is going to be on a curved track. We also have a ball head attached uh, to the carriage, okay? So if we're doing just the carriage, this is how we attach. This is the knob for attachment. This knob here next to a motor. This here is a brake knob, or rather stop knob. So if you engage this, you'll not be able to move this at all. So this has to be disengaged for the motor to work. Now motor has some resistance on its own, so it's gonna be hard to move it. And you hear like a, somewhat of a grinding noise here. Okay, so this is how you attach it. Don't put a lot of torque on this screw, just enough where it bottoms out. Okay, at that point, this is where you want to be, okay? So I'll quickly switch these. So I'll put the one with the head on there. Make sure your brake is opened up all the way. We align the wheels. And this is how we attach the carriage. So once again, we got the cable connected to the port number one here, connected to the motor, okay? Put this out of the way. I'll put it here, and then we'll connect power. All right, so I'll zoom in on the app, and this way we can uh, check out the app in detail. We want to select the BFM slider 5 to 1 from the drop down menu. Okay? So that's like the second or third one down. Okay? Because that's the 5 to 1 gearing ratio. Now, uh, for ease, you can practically put this controller and the battery inside a pouch. That's how we intend it to get to be used. Okay, figure I'm making a lot of noise here. Okay, but that's typically how it's gonna get used. Okay, so it's out of the way. So here we are, click done. And we're gonna be presented with like a overview screen, okay? Different application mode, connections, motor settings, drag and fra frame is for like stop animation and some com community and help. Over here, we'll just quickly explore the application modes. 
Okay, free run. So free run will go left and right when you hold this. Over here you adjust the speed and tells you the speed in millimeters per second, okay? So if you hold this, this is where it's gonna go left or right for you, okay? Now you can select hold speed, and then once you press this, it's gonna go, and then you have to click stop or reverse go, okay? Now if you want, you can of course reverse motion, but depending on how you have it mounted, um, a left could be this way or that way, okay? So ref, they're kind of arbitrary, left and right. Okay, then we have ease in and out. Okay, you can also go for a joystick. So joystick could go left or right. Okay, I guess depending on your reference. Okay, you can invert your axis here. So now it's inverted. So it's a really, really cool app, okay? You can go fast or slow. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's free run. Then uh, another mode that we use with this slider, we basically use three modes, free run, time lapse, and video. Okay. It asks you if you wanna load previous data. No, you don't, you wanna start new. And this is where you can set up your keyframes, okay? So again, left and right are kinda switched here. So let's go left. We can set this at the as a start keyframe. And we're gonna go right, so we're going to the right. This is your end keyframe. So you click end. And also what you see here, you wanna create the, set the time it takes to travel the distance. Let's set 20 seconds here, okay? So your start and end is 20 seconds. You have different graphs here. Velocity graph and acceleration graph, okay? Your position graph, okay? Now, what we wanna do, uh, basically we swipe right, and then this is where we can start this application. So it's gonna go to the left side, or to the start keyframe. Okay, it's transmitting data, so we're going to the start keyframe, and it's gonna find its like start position, end position, and this is where we can turn on the looping mode. Okay, and we just press play and it's gonna loop back and forth all the time. So this is great for interviews, okay? Well, I guess we should be sitting this way because when you shoot interviews or you shoot whatever subject, we should have been shooting this way. So that's why left and right are kind of switched. In any case, it doesn't really matter. You get used to it really quick. It shows you the video progress here on this cool display. This is really, really cool, okay? And it's gonna go on forever, just like this, okay? I do recommend that you set the start and stop pretty much to the end of the slider, um, but depending on what you need, this is how you set them, okay? All right, so over here we can go ahead and stop this. Cancel the recording, yes. This will basically continue until battery runs out. Even if you disconnect the phone, it'll still continue working, okay? And then, uh, last, uh, last application I wanna show you is time-lapse, okay? So we're gonna start new. So here you set your interval times, your frames, frame rate for your final video, your video length that you want. Um, so let, let's basically start this here. Then you got some graphs. You can set the recording time, how many pictures you want to take, okay? So let's do this. Uh, let's say we want interval to be, I don't know, like one second for this demonstration. Or let's say 1.2 seconds. Then focus, trigger, and delay. Those may need also be set, okay? So your total interval is like 1.9. Uh, frame rate is 30. Our video length is gonna be, let's say one second. We're gonna increase this to one second, okay? And we're gonna update pictures and recording time, okay? So right now we need to move it to start position. Okay, you see that on the screen still? So that's our start. And then we're gonna set our end position. Okay, that's our end position. 
So, and then this is it pretty much, two keyframes. You can set three if you want. And then you hit start, schedule start for later. Well, this is kind of cool if you want to capture a specific sunset or whatnot, but no, we're just going to set start right now. Okay, so it's going to move back to the original position. And this is where the power of this really, really shines. Okay. So it takes a picture, moves, takes a picture and moves. And this process is really fast. That's really cool. Okay. So over here you see it's going left to right, taking all these pictures. And as soon as it reaches the end, this is where um, this is where it stops and then you have your video. Okay, it finished. This controller, it has two axes. So for now we're only concerned about the linear motion. Uh, but in the future, we're planning to develop a panning motion here also for the sliders, okay? So right now it only controls the linear motion, but this application and this controller can support two axes or even more, okay? All right, um, so that's about it. It works with any of our PMG Duo sliders. Any questions, please email us at pmg at promediagear.com. Thanks for watching.